Welcome to the Eat Audio. Release your wolf. present to you the mistress of all evil, Maleficent. Come closer, child. Ah, so you are the child. Though, not a child anymore. All grown up. With beauty as dazzling as the sun. <laughs> I have to hand it to Gaia and Liara. They almost did it. Almost kept you from me. But in the end, fate could not be stopped. Curse. So you knew, and came anyway. Either you are a fool, or one of the bravest souls I've ever met. Yes, child, I did lay a curse on you, all those years ago. You wish to know the reason? <laughs> Such a strange child. I can see why Liara and Gaia are fond of you. You wish to know? Very well. Once upon a time... I used to be part of the royal court. I provided magic for your family. Helped them during their greatest hour of need. Your mother almost died, you know. An illness. A strange, strange illness. Your father begged me to save her. He'd do anything, he told me. That he would be willing to pay any price. So, I saved her life. And instead of being celebrated for it, I was thrown out. 
accused of using dark magic. Exiled. So, when you were born, I knew there would be a great big party. It was never about you, dear princess. I couldn't care less about you. But you are your family's most precious jewel. Which means the way to bring them the most despair was to curse you. That was 21 years ago today. And now, I have you. You could run. You wouldn't get very far. You see, this day has been foretold. There's no use in fighting it. Have you ever seen one of these, Highness? It's a spinning wheel. Used to be very popular in this kingdom. Come closer, dear. It's quite interesting. Yes, that is the spindle. Take a look. No, dear. Don't fight it. You know you want to touch it. It's far too late now. Finally. And just before sunset, too. Maleficent! Rose! Well, well, well. If it isn't my two old friends, I'm afraid you're too late. Here's your precious princess. No! Rose! Well... My job is done. Come along, Diablo. I can't believe this. We were so careful. This is all our fault. We never should have hid this from her. We have to break the curse. We can't. Maleficent's magic is too strong. We were lucky enough to change it from death to sleep. But there is a way, Kaya. We would need her true love. She said she was going to meet someone, remember? Who? His name is Derek. She met him the other night. Raphael, this isn't your fault, dear. Go. You should find him. I'll, I'll watch over her. Okay. Rose, can you hear me at all? <sighs> I keep thinking this is some sort of joke, that you'll open your eyes and laugh at me. But you're... You're really gone, aren't you? Gone... <sighs> somewhere I can't follow. If you could see me now, you'd... You'd probably make fun of me. I'm a mess. I'm a mess because I failed you, Rose. I had one job and I screwed it up. I walked away from you. I never should have turned my back. Even if you were furious at me, I should have just pushed past it and took you back. Then even if you were mad at me, I could, I could bear it because you would still be here. <sighs> 
you know, when I first came here, I was, what, nine? And you were only seven, I think. The night captain, he told me that I had to pretend to be something that I wasn't with you. That it would protect you. I don't really get it. But when I met you, when when you took your hand in mine and showed me the river, I knew I would do anything for you. I was blessed, Rose. Blessed to grow up with you. You were my best friend. My partner in crime. <sighs> Everything. <sighs> and even when we got older and you were always getting me in trouble, <laughs> I still wanted to be with you. I remember when you tried to sneak out to go stargazing and you roped me into helping you. You swore you knew where you were going and then next thing you knew we were stranded on a mountain. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who Lyra lectured more, me or you. <sighs> I knew this day would come, the day my duty would end, and you would go be a princess, and I would be a knight, and we wouldn't see each other, but it, it, it wouldn't be the same, and <sighs> I thought it was terrible, but I was wrong. Seeing you like this, that's terrible. Not being able to hear you or laugh or see your smile. I can't. I just can't. I love you, Rose, more than anything. I'll do whatever it takes to bring you back. I'll sacrifice whatever I need to. And if you are going to live happily ever after with someone else, that's okay. Because you'll be happy. And that's all I need. So don't worry. It's going to be okay. I failed you once, Rose. I, I won't do it again. Come back to me. Please. What? What was what was that? R Rose? Rose, are are you are you with me? Oh, thank God. I thought <sighs> You heard me? Uh, everything? Yeah, I'm not taking it back. I I broke the spell. Does that mean that... Uh, I... I love you too. So much. But... But wait. What about your title and your... Uh, okay. I... I guess we can deal with it as it comes. <laughs> I'm just glad you're back. Shut up. I'm not crying. You're seeing things. Oh, just, just let me hold you a little bit longer. So, you mean to tell me that the betrothal is off? Indeed, Mother. But... I do not understand. She found a love match, Mother. And I wish to find my own. Hmm. Very well. Thank you, Mother. Are you well, my lady? As well as I can be. Thwarted by true love. Who knew, Diablo? We could try again. Oh, we will. But for today, let them think that they've earned their happily ever after. I'm not done with them. Not in the slightest. Good to know. Now, come along, Diablo. 
I wish to get some rest. As you wish. Oh, I just love happy endings. Gaia, don't cry. I just... They're perfect for each other. Why didn't I see it? We were so focused on preventing the curse that we couldn't see. And now they get to begin a new life together. Princess and knight. Hand in hand. You make it sound as if it's the ending. Well, isn't it? Of course not. It's only the beginning. Hmm. I suppose you're right. <laughs>